Red Corner. Jordan Garwood. Jordan Garwood, looking confident. And his opponent, fighter in the blue corner, weighing 64 kilograms, fighting out of the London Shoe Fighters, Fari Bashra. <laughs> this contest is fought under eight ass rules, and your referee in charge is Mr. Paul Nichols. Could Jordan hand uh, London Shoe Fighters their first loss of the evening? Beautiful leg kick. Really got his hip behind it. That was a nice switch up there, kick to the head. Oh, Farid is throwing some serious venom in his shots. He's getting his hips behind it. Oh, that was a nice spinning kick. back kick to the head. Jordan still looking focused. He doesn't look intimidated by Farid's antics. There's a little bit of the of the Michael Page in Farid. He's uh, mixing his stances up, dropping his hands, trying to get a reaction. It was a nice couple of air kick that was. Both fighters throwing out loads of loads of feints. Uh, Farid using it to set up his kicks. Very effective. That was a nice right hand landed there by Farid. It did land, but it landed kind of on the top of the head of Jordan. Which it's like really trying to hit the chin. But for his footwork is really beautiful. He's creating angles, very low on his feet. He has his hands down, but the second he's in range, he pulls his hands up again. Very impressive. But Jordan's not, uh, he's answering well. Oh, Another big right nice hand right landed. Hand. Jordan's just trying to cover. Very really cool for another highlight real knockout. Farid does seem to be uh, working on something that he wants to be famous on YouTube. Jordan's having none of it. Jordan's not going down easy. Jordan's impressed me. He's been staying very calm, just picking shots, working a little bit of footwork, getting to outside. He's always just outside the range of those crazy kicks. Oh, another, another big right. See, Farid, when he gives up on the, the crazy kick antics and throws those big rights, that's when he lands. Oh, he's got to be careful. It's the thing with the showboating. One little mistake and Jordan's there with a big right. A lot of movement here for Farid. Jordan trying to like, stalk him down. Not a nice leg kick from Farid. This is a very exciting match. The standard of fights we're getting on Battle Arena is so impressive. Both these guys. Really presenting just great footwork, great timing, great elusive fighting. And then with, with Ferrari, this great variety of different attacks that spinning spinning back in. Jordan just shakes his head, not impressed by Ferrari Dantics at all. As the fight goes on, I'm waiting for Reed to draw another one of those flashy kicks. I'm guessing Jordan's waiting for it too, and therefore he's staying ready. Oh, Jordan with a little wry smile on his face. I think he's uh, he's realised that he's frustrating Farid. Jordan, uh, maybe Farid thought he's just going to come in, get a quick highlight reel, knock out and go out of the cage again. But Jordan had another idea. He's moving well, keeping combinations. Now, do you think either fight is going to mix it up and try and take it to the ground? I don't think so. 
I, I was thinking that Jordan Garwood may bring it to the ground, but then looking at the earlier fights, the sprawls are really good from Lun Chu Fighter fighters. Therefore, I think Jordan, I have a feeling Jordan might be trying to get very tired by always moving around. He spends energy and hoping maybe in the last round that he'll have a greater cardio than Farid, but Farid doesn't seem faced. He seems like he could do, it, do this for days. <laughs> Yeah, this is interesting. I think Jordan needs to commit at some point to... At the moment, he's making Farid make these little mistakes for Farid, just these little openings. And Jordan needs to capitalize on one of those and, and, and throw something with a bit of venom behind it. Because at the moment, he's doing a really good job of surviving. He's doing a really good job of moving out of the way, not getting hit, angling off. But now he needs to start getting a little bit of a, his own offense going. And that's exactly what he's done initially. Is start landing, And he's landed two lovely left hooks there. That's the problem with the, the showboaty stuff. Sometimes you're caught with your hands down. And Jordan made him pay with two great left hooks. Jordan now throwing more in this round. Fareed seems to have... Well, I was about to say changed tax and gone to a boxer, but no, <laughs> crazy hook kick. Uh, just about missed. Oh. Uh, it's a nice takedown coming in now. Nice See, this is, this is where I, I was worried that Jordan would be at a bigger disadvantage. I think Fareed has uh, shown his grappling on Battle Arena before. He's high level, but Jordan's straight back to his feet. He knows he doesn't want to be there. Nice work there from Jordan. He's straight up against the cage, and they separate. This is a very impressive fight. Both guys really representing their clubs well. Fareed throws that spinning back, but Jordan kind of steps forward on it, so Fareed doesn't get full extension and full power. Spinning back fist as well from Fareed. Jordan's still there. I see very similar styles between all the Lunchu fighter fighters. They're very side on. They throw a lot of kicks, they're very good with the kicks. You see it in the high level as well, Alfie, Alfie Davies, Michael Venom Page. And that's why you'll see fighters just like Gar Jordan Garwood and Farid up in the higher level someday. I've been so impressed by Jordan's composure. He's always got his hands up. He's always, like, with these weird strikes he's being hit with. He's safe because he's got good basics, good basic guy. He's always there, always strong. Free. You might see Free starting to get a little bit frustrated. He's been hit with the, those left hooks are the things that are getting through for Jordan. But that overhand right is uh, Free does get the timing on it occasionally and it gets through. But Jordan always seems to manage to take it on the forehead, not the chin. This is a really exciting fight. Beautiful technical exchange. And now Free just a little bit maybe he's slowed down on the fancy stuff. And he's breathing in just a little bit now. And Jordan, who's been really pacing himself well, this could be the change of the fight. Until he throws crazy shit like that. <laughs> Another nice right hand landed by Fareed. Jordan seems to counter with that left hook straight away. Nice electric check there now. I've been so impressed by Jordan. I mean, the, the public had Jordan written off. A lot of the people in this building had Jordan written off. But Jordan is just, just not phased by Fareed at all. His, his composure is, is very, very, very good. And Fareed's a hard guy to train for. Who are we going to get that's going to emulate that sparring? Who's going to do those crazy hits, fit, uh, the kicks and that, that crazy footwork? And the speed on that takedown earlier, that was, that was really good. So we prepare for stuff like that. It's very hard to do. And you got to give it to Jordan Garwood. He's coming back. He's just staying strong. He's yeah, I, I'm not sure how you score that round. It's a fairly even round. I mean, Reed's throwing some flashy stuff that looks really good, but nothing really landed that round. He landed one big overhand right, but Jordan landed four or five unanswered left hooks. I, I wonder now if Reed is going to get frustrated now in the last round and keeps, keeps up with this. Or I wonder if Jordan Garwood might get caught by one of these flashy kicks. And if he does, it is game over if they land right on the jaw. I think if I was Farid's corner right now, I'd be saying, I want a double leg, pass, submission, or ground and yeah. pound. I think a different tact. Because we've seen Farid grapple, and he's a great grappler. And we know sometimes the Five Elements guys have looked a little bit suspect on the grappling department. Uh, but maybe Farid's got something to prove. Maybe he, he seems to be looking for a highlight rail lockout. He seems to be looking for something that's going to be YouTube famous. Jordan Garwood earlier recovered, recovered foot like that really, really nicely. So. Yeah. I, I've got to give props to him. Now the third, the third and final round. We'll see, will we see a finish? 
we know Jordan Gar would have to finish this fight to win it. As uh, an accidental eye poke there. Jordan does not take much time off and decides to carry on straight away. I think it's a smart move. He knows that Farouk's getting a little bit tired. Otherwise Jordan seems to have uh, keep, he's kept the same pace. Jordan was almost picked up a pace. He kind of looked almost lazy in the first round. But this is what I thought would happen. I thought Farouk Coleman would say, take him down, finish the fight. It's a nice takedown defense there by uh, Jordan Garwood. And just Farouk being relentless to get into his back. Going to try and get him on the ground. Nice trip. He's going to hop onto his back now. That's it. Now, Freed is kind of under Jordan's chin already, but Jordan's doing a good job of escaping. Jordan back to his feet. Awesome job by Jordan. That's a brilliant job by Jordan. We've got to give some big respect to Jordan Freed. Now, I think he's a little bit disheartened that takedown didn't work. He's got that uh, look on his face, like uh, frustrated with Jordan's defense. And the crowd is watching. And they're just waiting for one of the guys to throw something big. Oh, nice front kick there by Farid. Just kind of skimmed the chin of Jordan. And nice a nice spinning, back spinning kick. kick landed there. Oh, that one just skimmed Jordan's head. you got to give credit to Jordan. He's never there. He's always just out of line of those crazy kicks. I want to see Jordan try and uh, put, uh, put his own point in this fight. Make a claim that he's winning this thing by, uh, by throwing us to you. Maybe through his left hooks with some power. I love the techniques thrown by Farid. I, I really do admire them. And just the flexibility they require and the movement they have, it's, it's, it's really nice to look at. And I love the resilience of Jordan Garwood. you got to give it to both these fighters. You definitely will see them fighting later on in life in Bellator, UFC. Name, you can name it. I mean, Jordan's boxing's really impressed me. He's got a really good defense. I mean, you get caught with a couple of rights, it's always glancing blows. He's got a really good defense, and every time that Faye throws these, these crazy, huge power shots, Jordan's got his hands up in the way. Some nice Jordans there from Jordan Garwood. I mean, his, his chin has been tested, his body's been tested, it doesn't seem to crack. I like Jordan just plodding forward, doesn't, doesn't care about this craziness from Faye. Still trying to land those big left hook. Freed, the last round with all this, this cardio, being a bit tired, still throwing those crazy spinning head height hook kicks. He wants that big knockout. Oh, great little inside kick there from Jordan. Oh, Jordan is whipping some power shots. I think he's a... I think Farid now is going to go try goal for the finish before the round ends. He's got 15 seconds left in the fight. Jordan Garwood now throwing some stuff, and there we go. That's Furry trying to throw it all, trying to give it all in the last 10 seconds. It's flashy techniques. <laughs> See, Furry is full of these flashy techniques, but you know they've got to work. They've got to work, and um, he didn't uh, didn't manage to finish the fight. And all three to score the same for your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner. Sorry. And please, special noise for our Royal Jordan Garwood. Hey, coming up on top, buddy. An energetic, entertaining fight as always. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Uh, first of all, I want to give credit to God. Good news, man. Second of all, Paul and Alexis, uh, for coming to shoot guys. I owe it to them because. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be near this good if, without them. All to my teammates and uh, special thanks to my mum this time. I don't get to give them all credit, but thanks a lot to them. So, Vince was speaking there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice kicks, real kicks over there. Yeah, yeah. And he had yeah, like a forward roll kick with the Yeah, rolling thunder, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my style, man. If you come to Portuguese, you're going to see some excitement. You know, me and my brother the same. We all wrestled around the shoe right today. We came up with a you know, young fool today, a lot of first timers, but they look, they look like. Like and all right, right. That's just what we bring on the street fight, man. Well, you look great. So, everybody else, you've got to say, you play. Let's hear it one more time for your winner, Barry Bashwell.